Pierluigi Colina was undoubtedly the world's first celebrity referee and one of the most iconic figures the modern game has seen. Standing at 6 foot 2 with a bald head and bulging eyes, he was a formidable referee, able to stamp his authority on even the most disruptive of matches. His formidable figure even saw him listed on the Times Top 50 Hardest Footballers, despite not even being a footballer himself. His iconic look also saw him grace the cover of both Pro Evolution Soccer 3 and 4, and was an unlockable character in rival video game FIFA 05. But it wasn't just video games where Colina was featured. His celebrity status even saw him appear in multiple advertisements worldwide for products ranging from cars to beer. And despite retiring as a referee over 15 years ago, his name remains relevant amongst football fans and players alike. None of these were the norm for referees of the time, and we are yet to see another referee rise to such stature. But how did Colina become such a prominent figure in football, and what was it that made him such an icon? Born in Bologna in 1960, Colina played football at a local level while attending school, ultimately graduating with a degree in economics in 1984. While playing at that local level, he was persuaded to take a refereeing course in 1977, where he discovered he had a natural aptitude for the job. He puts his natural aptitude for refereeing down to a strict upbringing, which taught him to appreciate the rules. Within three years, Colina was officiating at the highest level of regional matches, while also completing his mandatory military service. By 1988 he'd progressed more rapidly than normal, making it to Serie C, and after just three seasons at this level was promoted to Serie B and Serie A in 1991. It was around this time that Kalina contracted a severe form of alopecia, resulting in permanent hair loss, providing him his now iconic look. Having made his start in Italy's top flight, Kalina was placed on FIFA's referees list in 1995, qualifying him to referee at an international level. It was then that Colina would make his global impact, refereeing a series of high-profile games while continuing domestically in Italy. In 1996 he was allocated five matches at the Olympic Games, including the final between Nigeria and Argentina, and his career continued to go from strength to strength as he was selected to referee the 1999 Champions League final between Manchester United and Bayern Munich. Colina would cite this as his most memorable game, as Manchester United staged a remarkable comeback against the odds, defeating Bayern Munich in injury time. But while that would be his most memorable game, Colina reached the pinnacle of his career in 2002 as he refereed Brazil's World Cup final victory over Germany. Other notable matches which Colina oversaw include England's 5-1 victory over Germany and the 2004 UEFA Cup final between Valencia and Marseille. All games which would be memorable, but not for the refereeing performances, which speaks to Colina's quality. After all, the best referees let the games flow, without making themselves the centre of attention. Colina retired from refereeing in 2005, when he hit the Italian Football Federation's mandatory retirement age of 45. But plenty of referees have made it to a similar level before and since, and have left far less of an impression than the Italian. So what was different about Colina? For one, he was a very objective character. He wouldn't be swayed by the occasion or the player in front of him. Whether it was Edgar Davids or Duncan Ferguson, there was little point in arguing with the Italian, whose strict upbringing saw him become a stickler for the rules. After showing players that their pleas would go nowhere, he would explain to them his reasoning firmly and fairly. He didn't get every decision right, no referee can, but for fans of a sport where players routinely attempt to surround and intimidate referees, his approach was a breath of fresh air. But maybe more importantly, he was the right man at the right time. Colina was present as football exploded to a new level across Europe. During the 90s, Serie A was the most popular league in Europe, attracting all of the top playing talent, resulting in high viewership around the world. As one of the top ranking officials with such an iconic look, it's no surprise that Colina stood out as more people than ever became engrossed in the sport. On top of this, there are few countries which dissect and critique the refereeing performances as much as they do in Italy. However, Colina often avoided these critiques and dissections with his even handed approach to the game, further cementing his status as Italy's and Europe's best. The event which would truly cement his reputation as the best referee would actually come shortly after his retirement. As Italy was plunged into the Calciopoli scandal, Italian referees were being indicted one after the other for their complicity. As the global superstar he was, Colina's name was of course mentioned, however not in the same breath as those who had been complicit. Luciano Moghi, the Juventus executive and one of the chief instigators of the scandal, showed his frustration with Colina in an intercepted phone call. He claimed that Colina was too objective and should be punished for not bending to his will. As a result of this, Colina was one of only two referees to emerge unscathed from the 2006 scandal. When you add his refusal to be complicit in one of football's largest refereeing scandals to his six consecutive Best Referee of the Year awards, his seven Serie A Referee of the Year awards, and his all-time World's Best Referee award, it's easy to see how Colina became an icon. 
On top of these accolades, he was the first referee to be inducted into the Italian Football Hall of Fame when it was started in 2011, and he was such a good referee that the Italian Football Federation even raised the mandatory retirement age to 46, just to allow Colina one more year. However, this was where his popularity and celebrity status would go against him. Having already graced the cover of Pez 3 and 4, Colina was handed a sponsorship deal by Opel, who at the time were also sponsors of AC Milan. This deal would be seen as a conflict of interest, and therefore he would not be allowed to referee top flight matches in Italy, leading to Colina handing in his resignation. Despite trying to refuse his retirement, the Italian Football Federation could do little to stop Colina. However, while he wouldn't be appearing on the football pitch, he remained on television screens worldwide. Colina has appeared in World Cup advertisements for Mastercard and Visa, and a beer advertisement for Serbian brand MB Pivo. Colina was immensely popular in Turkey as well, as Turkish teams never lost when he oversaw their games, and as a result he starred in advertisements for Turkish GSM operator Arya. He also became popular in Japan after refereeing them in the World Cup, so popular that he was the face of frozen takoyaki products in the country for a short time. And if the television ads weren't enough, he would star in an animated form in George Michael's music video for Shoot the Dog, and in the last episode of the anime, Holly and Benji Forever. You'd be hard pressed to find a referee with a list of achievements that comes close to Kalina's, and even harder pressed to find one that can match his celebrity status. From his rapid progression to the top flight and his continued presence on some of football's most iconic stages, to his iconic look and inability to feel pressure, Kalina was truly one of a kind. He stood strong in the face of pervasive corruption, cementing his own legacy in the process, and whether another celebrity referee comes along, there is little doubt that Kalina is the best we've seen, and maybe the best we ever see. A referee so good that they changed the rules just to try and keep him for a little bit longer.